If I have a file in Microsoft Word that I want to upload to Canvas, that it's something I want the students to read, I could simply upload the doc file, which you can see here, directly into Canvas as a file by going to Plus, switch over to a file, and then browse, select my file, and I could uh, I clicked on open off screen and I could upload that file. That file though will be a doc file that the students will only be able to view if they have the ability to view Microsoft Word documents. If they're working on a phone or if they're working on a Chromebook, uh, there, there may be limitations to their ability to open that file. And it won't open inside necessarily inside Canvas. It may, if it does, it will open inside an embedded window. Another option that takes a little longer is to go ahead and take that document and turn it into a page and so I'm going to my ethnobotany pages and I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to give it a name there's an editor here I can at least start by copying and pasting the original document I'll do a select all copy and then I'll switch back and I'll just paste that in. Now, lots of things will probably go wrong. The picture won't come across. I'll need to find my either my original picture or copy the one out of that document to insert into here. The table may not look uh, the way I want it to. I may have to edit that, uh, but if I save this page, uh, you can see the lines disappeared on the table, so I'm going to have to go back and add lines in. But this page here, I'll be able to add to a module back here by going to the appropriate module. It doesn't matter which module I use for this exercise. And switch over to page. I'll be able to add that page. There's the page I just created. I'll be able to add it to the module. It'll appear at the bottom, but I can drag and drop and to put it in whatever place I want to. It will drag and drop and I can stick it there. And that page will open up directly inside Canvas and it will be visible uh, from the Canvas app natively. I won't have to worry about students being unable to open a Microsoft Word file. Uh, same would basically be true for a PDF. But again, I've got a good bit of cleanup work to do and getting this file back into the shape I, I want it to be in. I'm going to have to do some editing from the rich text editor that's available here. I'll have to go in there and tell it that, yeah, I want a border on this of some sort, and we just give it a border one. That'll get me the borders that I want. So I'll have to do some editing to make it look right. But this will then copy forward through the terms and I'll have that Word document or PDF document in an accessible file format. For advanced users, you can actually go into the code driving the page and do HTML editing. But you can do all of your editing from these menus. And there's more menus tucked away here. My screen is folded up small, so, but there's a math editor here and tables and uh, all sorts of other capabilities including adding images and any other capability you might want in a rich text editor. That's a better long-term solution for moving documents and documentary information into Canvas, but it will take longer.